So I've had my K1600B for a few months now and I have been using my Garmin Verb action camera to take video as I'm riding but as everyone knows sometimes you forget to turn the damn thing on or in the middle of a ride it runs out of power or your SD card gets filled up so I decided to go with a dash cam and it's the Inov K2 I think that's how you pronounce it and I've already put it on uh, probably would have been better had I actually shown the installation but I figured I'd make this short video just to show you where I mounted everything and if we start here at the front you can see the front camera is mounted inside where the oil cooler is and there's a little screw that was already there you can see the other side the factory screw I had to actually replace this one because the factory screw wasn't long enough but it worked out pretty well mounting right there and I routed the cable it's kind of hard to see but kind of back in there and along the back side of the right turn signal and then back up underneath and I actually had to fish the wire over to this side just kind of pulled this panel out a little bit ran the cable down along the gas tank worked out pretty well under the seat and then the back camera worked out pretty nice it's actually mounted right on the left side of the back reflector I had to drill a hole into the plastic here which pained me I didn't like doing that but it actually looks pretty nice I think not too bad I put the little rubber isolators on both sides and and the camera sits under there and I fished the wire up underneath uh, of course I had the seat off and what I can do is I'll uh, I'll take the seat off and show you where the power supply is mounted here I've got the seat off and I'll just zoom in here so you can see the power supply is mounted right on top of the plastic cap covering the, the main battery. I ran the, the yellow wire, which is the switched 12 volts, over to the cable going to this module back here. It worked out pretty well. I used a, um, uh, a positap. So I didn't really have to cut any wires, I just put the positive tap on, tapped into the wire and ran it from there. It worked out pretty nice. You can get those on Amazon pretty cheap. The GPS is mounted here. And once again, I just ran the cable down along the gas tank, down here, came back here, went underneath and back over to where the DVR is which I should show you that I was looking for a spot to mount the DVR under the seat but couldn't really find a good spot so I decided to go and mount it behind this plate here so if I push this off you kind of see it mounted down in there put some velcro on the back so it kind of sits there I can take it off whenever I want um, it still is a bit of a pain to get to 
if I ever want to uh, take the SD card out and download the video, but I don't really plan on doing that a whole lot with this camera. It's not really its purpose. But anyway, that uh, that's kind of how I mounted everything. It worked out pretty well. Uh, leave some comments if you think I did something wrong or have any uh, constructive criticism. Uh, and I hope that this uh, does somebody some good who's looking to put this camera on their K1600B.